everybody. Welcome to the theater here at Apple Valley High School. This is our first performing arts event that we're hosting in the theater for this school year. And maybe for some of you, this is your first time here in the Apple Valley High School Theater. Would you raise your hand if this is your first time seeing an event here in the theater? Got a couple of first timers. Yes, awesome, welcome. Glad you're here, thank you so much. Um, my name is Bill Bladsheim. I'm an assistant principal here. One of my responsibilities is covering arts and activities, so that's here, choir, band, dance, and things like that. I want to say welcome. I want to say thank you to all of you. And I just want to go through some of those couple of standard reminders that you see whenever you're in a performing arts space. Uh, take the time right now to ask you please to make sure that anything that might make noise during the concert, whether that's your cell phone or an iPad or a smartwatch or a two-year-old, is, um, is somehow in a spot where the noise will be reduced. Uh, also just want to say that for concerts here at Apple Valley, um, this is just kind of our expectation, is that, that you're here to watch the entire concert. Um, your student might be performing in the early part of the concert, or they might be performing the later part of the concert, but we ask that once you're here, once the concert start, starts, that you that you stay seated um, for the duration of the concert. Obviously, if something comes up, sometimes there are things that you can't control. If you do need to exit during the performance, if at all possible, we ask that you use the rear exits to, end, to exit and re-enter, just to avoid with the nature of this thrust stage being really distracting. Of course, if something comes up and you just got to pull it off, we understand things happen, but please, if you can, uh, use discretion and use those rear exits. Please wait till the end of a song to applaud it tonight. Please applaud for every song when it's done. Bye -bye. Please, and teachers have worked so hard to show this uh, show this progress. You were only six weeks into the school year, and from the little bit I've heard of their rehearsals, you are going to be very impressed with what has happened in this first six weeks of the school year. So thank you all for being here. Thank you for uh, taking care. Thank you for trusting us with your students, and we hope you enjoy this wonderful concert. First up is Mr. Larson and Troopers. Thank you. 
once in a while. You're going to see a couple of examples of that tonight. All of our tenors and basses from all three choirs, from Troubadours, from Gazzo, and from Ballet Select Corral, are going to combine to do this arrangement of He Ain't Heavy, He's My Brother. A little bit later in the concert, the Corlears, the ninth grade um, Sopranos and Altos, and Ragazze, who's sitting right over here, and the Sopranos and Altos from BSC will combine to do a piece called Still I Rise. This is uh, Troubadours, Ragazzo, and the BSC tenors and basses singing He Ain't Heavy, He's My Brother.
next step is Men's Ensemble. They meet on Monday and Wednesday mornings at 7 a.m. And boy, are they excited to sing at 7 a.m., I tell you. Um, they will be singing an arrangement of a tune called In Flanders Fields, which is um, really about commemorating um, the end of World War I and all of the um, atrocities that happened during that uh, war. And it's really a beautiful, beautiful tribute to it. So this is Men's Ensemble. Another one of our before school choirs we call co-curriculars. This is varsity edition. This is ninth and tenth grade sopranos and altos, and they rehearse on Tuesdays and Thursday mornings.
first group you heard sing tonight were troubadours on 9th Street Sanderson Basses. This is their counterpart of Sopranos and Altos. This group is called Four Layers. They meet 7th hour every day, one of our curricular parties. The two pizzas for you.
Next up is Ragazzi Cantati. They are uh, 10th, 11th, and 12th grade sopranos and altos. Hey, this is our biggest Ragazzi in a long, long time. If everyone's here, there are 63 students, and we're really excited about, about the growth of our pro program. We're kind of back to pre-COVID -pre era, but better, right? We're better, right? Yeah. So um, the first song they're going to be singing is a Serbian folk, folk song called Nishka Banya. The second song they will be uh, singing is Does the World Say? It's by a local composer named Kyle Peterson. We were for fortunate enough to have Mr. Peterson out last week um, on Thursday to work, work with us. Um, and a friend of Apple Valley High School, Mary Becker, will be playing uh, the violin on that.
Just, just a second here while we bring the rest of the Sopranos analysis out. We're going to be doing um, a piece by uh, Rosephany Powell. Uh, we actually met Rosephany Powell last uh, spring in at Carnegie Hall. No big deal. Um, so we took a group of uh, students last last year out to New New York City, and we performed one of her, her pieces. And she actually narr narrated the piece at, at Carnegie Hall. It was a really wonderful experience. Um, that trip comes up every three years. So this will be the current freshman's junior year, I believe. Is is that math right? Yeah. No. So yeah. You can know the figure now, right? So um, students, maybe get a job. Okay. <laughs>
This is another one of our co-curricular groups. Uh, this is comprised of uh, juniors and seniors, all members of Ballet Club Crowd, who you will see um, uh, the choir after this. Um, and this is called Women's Ensemble. We meet two mornings a week at 7 a.m. This group you see before you is our, um, our chamber singers, and they are another co-curricular group that meets 7 in the morning. 
Um, they are juniors and seniors. They're all comprised as comprised of members from BSC. Um, SATV, Spanish Alto Tenor Bass um, Mixed Ensemble. They're going to sing Madrigal tonight. For those of you not familiar with Madrigals, it's a Renaissance secular uh, park song piece. Um, it was sort of the popular music of the time, along with lute songs, which would have been solo works written for solo voice and lute. And many of the same composers who wrote lute songs wrote madrigals. So this is a madrigal called Say Love by John Dowland. The juniors and seniors behind me are sopranos, altos, and tenors and basses that make up Valley Select Corral. Um, they are a curricular choir that meets uh, six period during the day. Um, we uh, are really excited to present to you uh, three different songs. Our first one is called Amabolo Bolo. It's a South African folk, folk song. Um, and we're uh, joined by um, Steph and Tyler on the drums. So please both.
next piece we're going to do is um, from a larger set. It's called Five Hebrew Love Songs. It's composed by Eric Whitaker. And later this winter, um, we'll be performing the entire set of five movements of this. We're just doing the second movement tonight. We'll be doing the entire uh, five movement work with the concert choirs from Rosemont, Egan, and Eastview at our annual Dakota Valley Festival. Um, so we decided, Reed and I decided, that we would, in learning these, we would stretch them out over the, um, the fall and the winter leading up to that event and have performed some of the movements already. So we're going to do the second movement tonight, and then on our holiday concert in December, we'll do two more of the movements and then have two movements to learn yet to sing jointly with those um, other groups in February. So this is um, Kala Kala from Five People Love Songs by Eric Whitaker, Jan uh, Scoville on piano, and Mary Becker once again back to play violin for us in this piece.
so there's a few cookies left. Just leave, leave a couple plates for, for me. Thanks.